Are you filming? So, okay. I still get nervous doing this. I don't know why. Everyone knows I'm a dickhead. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to uh, Mr. Muffler Burnouts. <laughs> um, we're doing, uh, what are we doing today? We're at Rally Skids. We're out here, uh, first one of the year. Um, yeah, I'd say, what I'll, what I'll do first, there's a bit going on here, or not much, but um, I've got a new car, I've got a new burnout car, a little, a little skid car. Uh, I didn't make a thing out of it, like, oh my God, I bought a new car. It's because it doesn't deserve it. It's a heap of shit, old Falcon. So, uh, XR6, nearly 300,000 Ks on it. Um, I wanted a car that I could bring out here and use it for more local events instead of having to go to friggin' Brisbane and Canberra and Sydney for me burnouts with Mr Mullet. Um, Mr Mullet's a bit too highly strung to bring here now, it's too loud and you know I don't want to use up all my revs uh, here and miss out on something like summer nats or brash nats. Um, I'd rather miss out on this. But now I'm not gonna because I've got a new car. So, the, the, the thing with the car is, the two things, I want to uh, do burnouts local and do maybe some motor carners and hill climbs and different things with it. Probably not, but predominantly burnouts. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see where I end up with it. But um, new car. This currently is the uh, the bare minimum you need to do a burnout. This is a completely standard XR6 BF XR6. Um, what about it? Uh, there's carpets missing and shit like that, and there's rats living in it. But um, completely standard. I welded the diff. I took the rear brakes off. That's just the sort of the two main things you've got to do to make a car do a burnout. So that goes without saying. So standard car, it's still got a full exhaust system under it. It's quite as um, aircon works, which is good. Um, yeah, I've been sort of putting it together behind the scenes. Uh, I had it about 12 months, but it sat for six months in my backyard in the long grass. Um, but yeah, so that's the car, completely standard. My idea with this series is one, to do the burnouts, like I said, but two, it is so I can show people how or if they want to get into doing some sort of motorsport that it, it doesn't have to be that hard. Mr Mullet started out as a joke and it's still currently a joke. <laughs> um, it started out as a bit of fun and whatever, but um, it got a bit more serious. So this is forever just going to be like a grassroots level car. Mr Mullet's still a grassroots level car, don't get me wrong, but it's just a bit more... Uh, too noisy and too, too expensive to bring here. Um, so yeah, that's the new car. I've got all sorts of stuff lined up. So today's the, it's like a science experiment. Today's the control, the control skid. I'm gonna go there to a burnout. Um, I've got some 14 inch wheels on it. That's the only modification other than the brakes and diff that I did, because I still wanted to be able to do a burnout. But uh, predictions for today. With all good science experiments, you need a hypothesis. I hypothesize that, um, it's going to go into limp mode, um, it's going to get hot, um, there's all sorts of things that, that, that could go wrong here because, um, oh, no worries. Um, there's all sorts of things that could go wrong, being a standard car, still has ABS sensors in the back and like with BAs and stuff, I know they go into limp mode as soon as you do a burnout and the, the tyre delaminates, it'll rip the, the wires off them, that'll probably happen, it's got a standard plastic bloody header tank, you can't see it, the bonnet's down. Um, but yeah, standard radiator, tanks blow off them, it's got all the plastic bits in the cooling system still. Um, yeah, it, it's just a plain old car. I'm going to show you that it's not going to go that great, or if it does go great, I'm going to show you that it can go better. So next time it comes out here, I've got all sorts of stuff lined up and a few collaborations with a few important people, um, and I'll show you how it goes from there. So um, that, that's, that's it, we'll go, let's get into some action. I'm going to go rip a bloody skid now. Let's go, I'm excited. Shut it off.
<laughs> I feel sorry for you. <sighs> you didn't even get up the temperature. Look at that. It's beautiful. Right, so that's um, me attempted a burn out the standard falcon, which, ah, God. I had lots of people tell me that, oh, you'll get third in your Falcon if you put 14s on it. Um, I did not. I feel like I went out there and it's, I don't know, it's like the tyres are getting grippy. Watch out, it'll be hot. It'll be hot. Um, it feels like there's a big restriction in it, which it may well be because it's still got a full exhaust and, um, and this and whatnot. But for a bit of redneck science, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to go again see if... Um, if that really does anything like what people think. Um, the other thing is, I still, I've got like 30 PSI pressure in my back tyres, so I'm gonna go blow them up a bit more and we'll go again, just for the sake of a bit of science, a bit of uh, ex experimenting today is what we're doing. So that's done, that's more horsepower. Is there somewhere I can pump tyres up? I'll go down there. Yeah, Chris is over there, we'll go ask Chris. Excuse me, oh, okay. Let's go talk to Mr. Piggott. From memory, I put like 30 psi in this thing, so we're gonna blow a right up. See how it goes. I didn't last real long. Went and pumped them up and uh, went out there, didn't get out of the chute and the thing blew, which is okay. It's uh, also half knocked me bumper off. But uh, I think the other one still got air in it. Yeah. I'll pass that one to Reggie, I won't pass the other one. <laughs> Going for a lap with Steve. It's a bad idea, I haven't been out with him in the yonks. It smells like salmon at you there. Salmon See anything, but we'll, we'll, um, yeah, yeah, you're on fire, were you? Got a little bit warm, yeah, just a little bit warm, yeah, yeah. See, if you own a Ford, you're on right. Ah, I'll be like that. <laughs> I'm a Ford guy, and I hate hearing it. The boss is about the noise. <laughs> Yeah, so it's from the boss man himself. No, don't no worry about fires, they're not a problem. It's the noise that's the issue out here. <laughs> Just this thing on? You sure? Yep.
That burnout was a bit more successful, but I still only got one tire off. I was trying to get it off, but it, uh, it just wouldn't go. And then I knew I'd be in trouble for rim bash if I went any longer, but no, it, it, it was better. Always take your air filter out first. Don't blow your tires up, apparently. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the rally burnout today, mate. Um, uh, went well. The car didn't have any limp mode issues. It didn't even get hot, it didn't overheat. That being said, I don't think it has enough power to make itself get hot. <laughs> um, like I went out there and did you know, a couple of squealies and whatever, and it was just junk uh, as far as I'm concerned. If I wanted to go out and just do a burnout and sit on the spot and then go and then turn around and just be on the brake the whole time, be fine. But if you want to throw the car around, stare the cars are shit. Um, yeah, so I've got a list of stuff to do to it um, and, and some you know parts, like performance parts, a diff, a few other things in the works now, uh, which I had you know before today. It's always uh, part of the plan. As I said, this is just a control, just to show you what what would happen. And, and mind you, I had, still had a good day, I had fun. So um, next time you see this out at Rally or anywhere, it'll be, be twice the car it is now. But uh, yeah, I was just junk. That whole thing was shit. So um, not impressed with how it went at all. I honestly, because I had the 14 inch tyres, I spoke to, I didn't speak to, I had a few people comment on the photo I put up um, saying, oh, you know, with 14s, yeah, 14 inch tyres, you'll get third gear in that thing, not a problem. This thing wouldn't even do it in first gear. Um, obviously, I pumped the tyres right up. That was my first mistake. I forgot to pump them right. I was used to putting 40 in them. Um, so I, I had to pump them right up. I pulled the air filter out. Air filter, that is just a myth. That did not change anything, I don't think. What I think the benefit was, was pumping the tyres up a bit more. Um, so anyway, yeah, next time you see it, it's going to be sick and it'll be um, totally different and it'll be way better for a rally. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye out. Um, we'll have, like, it didn't have any lip mode issues, but I know it will because it's just what they do. Um, so we're going to take out all the, the possibilities for that. And it's going to be sick. So thank you. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye. You can, you can show her off now, please, Jasmine.